I'm my summer touch or my real name is Clara and I'm on the beach as you can see really beautiful here and this is my molden and my notes how to use less pages in your file effects how to slim down your file effects and what I'm doing some of you may know, my subscribers know, that I'm using GTD system and GTD system is really all about lists, several kind of lists depending on the context, whatever. And I was using a lot of extra pages for that, that kind of lists here and I decided to take out those lists and to rewrite them on post-it notes and put it like that and I was using that kind of clear dividers and I put all of them like that and as you can imagine one two three four it's like this one divider how much space it uses ring space it uses just one sheet space and this was this could take up to I don't know 14 lists so I was using dividers like that and then I just started to afraid to lose them and I put them in that kind of business card holder like that and pages actually got stuck there and what I I started to do is just put sticky notes back to back together like that so now they they don't stack together like that what else I have a lot of tabs here and I don't use any dividers I don't have even one divider here only tabs Another tip is to use um, just supplies that you need, leave extra supplies at home, for example I don't need that kind of um, flex here, I don't use them, I just, I just like to watch on them, <laughs> they're really colorful and what I'm using, I'm using only this kind of flags they use they take less space on my weekend to pages another tip is to use to print your notes because printing text they, takes less space than written text so for notes that I'm using on everyday basis, I'm printing them. This is my GTD weekly review. Another tip is to use thinner pages, thinner pages than regular ones. So they actually less take less ring space. And uh, those of you who have seen my June setup know that. Uh, I was doing this experiment when I took out everything that I had in my file effects and I put here only pages that I'm really using like my week on two pages and the rest of the year the months months on two pages and I put here my contacts and everything else I put in a ziploc bag and I put here only pages that I put back only pages that I was using on everyday basis and pages that I was using twice or three times a week or four times a week so this is a really nice advice for you and at the end of this week you will have in the ziplock pages that you don't need to carry with you advice is to go 
frequently through your notes and put your extra notes that you don't use in your archives and put your um, week on two pages, previous weeks on two pages and months of on two pages in your archives. The next advice is to use even an extra notebook for your ideas or for your notes. Carry it here or here so you don't clutter your file effects with extra pages. And I'm uh, actually using my account in Evernote and what I'm doing when I have some kind of notes that I don't want to lose, I'm making a picture of uh, that this note and I'm uh, putting this in my Evernote account so I don't so I'm not afraid to use the page itself and I have um, I actually have it always with me I don't have to carry my file effects or clutter my ring space in my file and I think that's it take out extra calendars extra whatever you have like I have here extra extra calendars I I don't really need to use that kind of that many calendars extra notes extra everything so I think that's it thank you for watching and subscribe and like this video if you really like it here is the last glance of the sea it's really gorgeous here sunset thank you for watching see you soon bye bye